So everybody, I can go through this whole diatribe on how the gut affects all these different things. Leaky gut leads to damage in your liver because that's bi-directional. 75% of your toxins go from your gut to your liver via the bloodstream. 25 come back from the liver to via the portal vein to the gut. If you have leaky gut, you have a higher incidence of body composition issues, obesity, blood sugar dysregulation. But some of the really key points is if you have a thyroid problem, don't immediately say it's the thyroid. The thyroid may be the landing spot for a lot of damage coming from the gut. A leaky gut leads to a lot of autoimmunity. Chiropractors, there's a gut to disc axis. 52% of discs that were surgically removed were shown to have a bacteria translocation. That bacteria translocation beckons a question, where did the bacteria come from? Now that's an interesting idea. 2021, a study also says, is infection the leading cause of our herniated disc? Who doesn't have a bulging or herniated disc? Cytokines lead to inflammation in the joints, which also can lead to arthritis. And leaky gut leads to the release of something called MMPS, matrix metalloproteinases. Your body's own proteolytic enzymes released at the time of injury. The takeaway there is they eat fibrocartilage. Your disc, your meniscus is made of fibrocartilage. Remember, whatever you do to your gut, you do to your brain. Whatever you do to your brain, you do to your gut. And lastly, a marker, Lapo polysaccharide and endotoxin, when that's expressed in the blood, it increases the incidence of cardiovascular disease by three times.